All right, so here we are with our last type of graph, I believe, namely the time series graph. Now, a time series graph is really a line graph, but it happens over time, and time is on the horizontal axis. But I got to tell you, this, this graph happens all the time. You open up any paper, any financial response, you go to any financial website of any kind, and you're going to see graphs that look like this. This is about um, the Swiss franc value um, over, see that? Look at that horizontal axis, full of time. Tons of it. Right? And it's showing how the financial, you know, whatever is working over time. There's another one, right? I'm on NPR's Planet Money website, which is a blog about um, economics and stuff. That is a mind map. That is not a the time series graph. But if you just roam around on this site um, for any length of time, you're just going to run into tons of time series graphs. Um, similarly, like if you open up any newspaper of any kind, um, once they have all the stock market um, reports, stock market reports always have graphs that look like this right here. And that's because it's a time series graph. So it's showing this one's showing months um, on the horizontal axis. I paused you. Here's another one. This one's showing um, gross domestic product versus employment. And this one's got years on the horizontal axis. Here's another one. These are construction jobs, and there's years on the horizontal axis. You get the picture. So um, financial stuff, financial reports, stock market reports, bond reports, all that stuff is just full of time series graphs. Lots of line graphs over time. All right, so, oops gotta get back to word so I have this data here this is um, the percent of Americans on food stamps since 1970 this is actual data all right so we are going to construct a time series plot it's going to look like that and you can see that years are on the horizontal axis here now if you don't want the dots as you can see from the web a lot of these won't have dots because you're getting so many data points along the way like if construction jobs come out every month that's why you're seeing all the little jaggedy bits in there Right. Um, so that gets kind of confusing. So you don't have to make one with dots in it, but you do have to make one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste copy. And I need a new sheet for this one because this is a totally new data set. So I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to have to finagle this just a little bit to get it all into two columns. I had to put it into more than that to get it to fit on the page because this is a pretty big data set. Oops, and I don't want all these different year percents ones. That was kind of silly. I shouldn't have pasted those in, but that's okay. All right, so those are all deleted, and this is all deleted. All right, everything's good. So I've got all of those years and percents in. So what you do is you highlight all the years and percents with your mouse or um, what I just did, which is control shift and use my arrow keys to get down and around. And then you go to insert. You choose line graph. I'm going to choose the one without the dots this time. Again, that's, oh, rats. I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have done that. It was, it's just the percent. It's just like those other ones. If you do both columns, it freaks out, as you just saw. So just do the, the percent column and click on that line graph. And there it is. Okay. And then we have to change those horizontal axis labels, and we got to make it pretty. So let me make it a little bit larger so we can see it better. I'm going to go down here, oops, actually go here, click on the line, right click and choose select data. I'm going to edit my horizontal axis labels and make them the years, right? Don't highlight the years because as you saw, it makes the graph totally wrong. Okay. Okay. And then this is a time series graph of percent of Americans on food stamps. And then I'll add in some labels here. This is percent of Americans on food stamps. And this will be um, year. All right, we've got the graph built. All I have to do is answer some questions about it. I'll see you back here then.